I think we are almost done with rashes. Yes. So we're going to end with HIV rashes because there are some rashes that are sort of um, either indicative of HIV or associated with HIV. So one of them, and so my first life was internal medicine before I got saw the light and came into emergency medicine. And I did my internal medicine training in the 1980s in San Francisco um, and spent a lot of time on Ward 5A. And I tell you, I saw more Kaposi sarcoma. Um, this is a cancer of the skin. It's a, it's a sarcoma that is in the skin and mucosa. It can be in the guts as well. It can be in the lungs as well. It's vascular. And this is seen in really terrible, usually end stage or untreated HIV. CD4 counts are really, really low. Um, it, it says not a significant cause of morbidity and mortality now, because it isn't now, but it sure was back in the beginning where we didn't really know how to treat this thing. These things, if you ever saw the movie Philadelphia, mm -hmm. that is a Kaposi's lesion that, that Tom, Tom Hanks has in that, that basically gives away the fact that he has HIV. They're purple. Yeah. They have a predilection for the face, which I still don't quite understand why, but the, uh, the noses, face, they mm -hmm. get them, and they are often multiple lesions of this thing, these Kaposi's. They may bleed. That's why it can cause GI problems because they also, these lesions occur inside as well in the GI tract in the liver in the lungs so we would see people with hemothoraces we see people with GI bleeds with this thing it was not a pretty thing now it's treatable we hardly ever see it heart and cryotherapy work there's actually some chemotherapy that works with this as well so we hardly ever see it anymore but you may still see this mm -hmm. particularly in people who have untreated HIV or really really low CD4 counts um, it's pretty dramatic so the lesions are like this they're these purpley lesions they are they're they're, they're often dusky looking um, lesions and they are raised. You can feel them. The back that you can see the picture there, that's not at all uncommon in somebody who really is untreated. And again, a common, for, not at all uncommon to see it on the face. So you can see it on the face as well. The other kinds of rashes to make you think about HIV, which have men been mentioned a couple, you know, some of these in other parts of this, but sebderm, so seborrheic dermatitis, as your CD4 count tends to fall lower under 200, you may see seborrheic dermatitis. Again, it's a fungal thing that you just can't fight off very well once your CD4 is too low. Oral thrush definitely does this. It's candida of the mouth. We see this and that. That's basically, you know, oral thrush is the stuff in the mouth that you kind of try to scrape off and it doesn't really scrape very well. And then s the onychomycosis. So onychomycosis, people get fungal toe stuff or finger stuff. It's not, that's common, right? People have it all the time, but they don't have it on a lot of their digits and they certainly don't have it on all of their digits. So if you see somebody who's in I know, all five toes on one foot or six of their 10 toes have this, worry about immunocompromised particularly HIV. Um, these are things that should warn you somebody has a low CD4 count um, with their HIV disease.